So in this video, we are going to talk about the external case of Sieva's theorem. Here we have the diagram we drew for the internal case where the three lines intersect within the triangle, and we also have the expression that we wrote. So now we're going to look at the external case, which is when the three lines intersect outside of the triangle. So we still have the same three lines. We have line AE, line BF, and line CD. However, this time instead of intersecting in here somewhere, inside the triangle ABC, they're going to intersect over here at some other point that we'll call, um, we'll call it point G again. So we can no longer just go around the triangle like we did up here, and just kind of go around it multiplying and dividing. Instead, once again, we're going to start at the same point, point A, but this time when we're going to go around, we're going to go from the point to the intersection point, and then back to the second point. And then from the point to the intersection point, to the next point, and then from the point to the intersection point, back to the original point. And that's exactly what we did up here. We started at a point, and we went to the intersection point, and then we went to the next point, and then we went to the intersection point, and then we went to the next point. However, with the external case, we just have to realize that we're when we're going from the point to the intersection point, we're actually going to pass the next point, and we're going to have to go back to it. So when we write out the expression for Siva's theorem here, we're going to go from the point to the intersection point, AF, and then back to the point, divided by FC times CE divided by EB, And then we're going to go from the point to the intersection point times BD, and from the intersection point back to the original point, divided by DA, and that entire thing equals 1. And if you notice, for the internal case and for the external case, the expressions are both exactly the same for Siva's theorem. We just have to remember that because in the external case they intersect outside of the triangle, you have to go from the point to the intersection point and then back to the next vertice of the triangle. So that's all for this video. In the next video we will be doing an example problem in which we'll be solving a problem involving Siva's theorem where the lines intersect outside of the triangle.